So in this problem we have a velocity time graph that models Tom's motion as he runs across a playground. Find Tom's acceleration during the first three seconds of his motion. Now acceleration, um, given the units that we have, will be meters per second per second. Okay. So, in the first three seconds of his motion, this can be given by the gradient of that line. Okay, so the acceleration A will be equal to the 6, the height that he's travelled, okay, the uh, velocity divided by the time. Meters per second divided by seconds gives you the meters per second per second. So divided by 3 is equal to 2 meters per second per second. You can calculate it um, using uh, V equals U plus AT as well. Okay, so you can think of it using the constant acceleration equation. So V equals U plus AT. V is the final velocity, which we know is 6. U is the initial velocity, which we know is zero, okay, because it's zero there, plus A times T, which is three. And that gives us the A is equal to two. So you can see it either way. Now for part B, find the total distance Tom runs during the five seconds of motion. Now with a velocity time graph like that, the total distance is the area under the line. So it's the area of that triangle, effectively. So the distance will be equal to one half times by the base times by the height. So that would be 15 meters. State one criticism of this model of Tom's motion. Okay, so I can think of two off the top of my head. One of which is that although in order to do the calculations we've assumed that acceleration is constant because it's these straight lines, well, you know, that's what it's been given by, uh, but in practicality, it is unlikely that acceleration will be constant. Okay, so unlikely that acceleration will be constant. And also, at the three second this change in velocity, because it's at a point, okay, is shown in the model to be instantaneous, okay, which is also unlikely, very unlikely, okay. So the change in velocity at t equals 3 is instantaneous. Okay, um, which is, shall we say, unlikely? Um, well, which isn't really practical. So we'll say which is wrong, as it will be a smoother change. Okay, really it should be a curve, okay, as um, Tom is slowing down, changing from one velocity to another instantaneously, okay, like that um, can't really happen. So you could explain either of these cases based on the model that we have.